pets. We love them, we hate them, we can't get enough of them. Domesticated pets have been around for tens of thousands of years. What makes humans love them? Why are humans attracted to cute animals? Those questions and more are to be explored in this episode of the Uncovery Channel. Hello, my name is Dr. I'm a Fraud. I'm here today because I love animals, but I don't know why. Well, I sort of know, know why, but I'd like to know more, because learning is always a good idea. According to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, approximately 42% of American households have a dog, and approximately 34% of the households have cats. Roughly 160 million cats and dogs are owned in the United States alone. Obviously, we must love these pets. Why else would America spend $56 billion each year on these pets? But why do we love them? I have a cat. He vomits on my nice hardwood floor, leaves cat hair all over the carpet, scratches the walls, but I love that fur ball. The question is one that is difficult to answer. Each pet owner has a preference for animals. Some like cats, some like dogs, some like birds, and some like fish. So to say that we could each know what attracts humans to each animal would be ridiculous. Stensing, an associate professor at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, believes it has to do with the fact that it makes humans happy. Stensing writes, humans are genetically programmed to establish social relationships in order to achieve safety and existential predictability. He then goes on to describe that dogs provide their owners positive mental effects. Think about people who work with animals for a living. Why are they passionate about animals? Let's find out in an interview with Kelly Burroughs, the Community Program Manager at the Cincinnati SPCA. I, well, from a scientific view, I think um, biologically we're, we're partial towards cute things because if we weren't, we wouldn't raise our young, right? Um, beyond that, that's a really good question. They, they enrich our lives. Animals enrich our lives. Where I have friends who don't have pets and they don't quite get it. Why would you bring this dirty thing that costs money, that causes more work for you? Why would you bring this into your house? But once you have them in your home, it's, it enriches everything. It makes everything better, I think. Oh, I, I don't think I consciously decided. I wanted to be Jane Goodall when I was little. Um, and it kind of just went from there. So in high school I worked at a pet store and um, my major was animal sciences. So everything I did kind of was just because I, I enjoyed animals. I liked being around them. They were interesting. and um, So I just kept going with that. <laughs> I think I, I never stopped. Definitely that, that enriching of your life. Um, they become family members, just like you love your family and it, you, would, you would miss someone if that piece was gone. You would miss your pet if, if they weren't there. So I think they're needed for most people. Beneficial. Um, they give you, for one, they give you something to care about other than yourself. So your pet isn't going to take care of itself. It's, 
at a very basic level, it's something beyond you that, that needs you. Um, where even most people don't necessarily need you. Your pets absolutely need you, so that, that would be one reason. So you've heard Kelly's opinion, but that's coming from someone who works with animals in a rescue situation. What about someone who works in animal therapy? Odian Cusack, a journalist who specializes in animals and zoology, writes in her book, Pets and Mental Health, Animals are important to humans because they represent the part of the natural environment that we have largely lost. By relating to animals, we can once again become part of nature and thereby heal many of the rifts in our souls caused by, at least part, by our civilized lifestyle. What Cusack is trying to say is that animals embody our primitive selves. They make us feel more in touch with nature. What makes humans keep pets in the first place? Why do we like cute things? According to Fizz.org, we are inherently attracted to a specific set of characteristics including large symmetrical heads, large eyes, small mouths, and small noses. This is due to evolution. Animals become cute in order to find a mate. And cute things make us protective. There is a desire referred to as cute aggression. This means that when humans or animals see something cute, they want to squeeze or protect it. Scientific American describes a study at Yale University. Participants were given sheets of bubble wrap and were told to pop as many as they wanted as they watched a series of cute, funny, and control photos on a screen. The participants popped significantly more bubbles when shown the cute photos compared to the funny or control As a cat owner, I have my theories. I enjoy keeping pets for the love and companionship. Humans like pets because they make us happy, give us something to care for and protect, and keep us in touch. Pets are gifts, so you should consider the benefits. Of Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again on the Uncovery Channel. Sunsets on Long Island, roll the windows down in the van. Lost my map on the Jersey Turnpike. But it's okay, we ain't looking back Oh